That elbow is going to be fine. Just ice it for 20 minutes before you go to Teresa's mom's surprise party. Maybe she shouldn't go to the party. Stay home and take care of that elbow. But, Daddy... T.C., it's a slight case of tendinitis. It's nothing serious. There's no reason why she should miss the party. All right. You're the doctor. But remember, Whitney, you've worked too hard to let anything come in between you making the tennis team. I'm going to do my best to make the team, Daddy. I promise. Oh, you'll make it. She's going to be a champion, isn't she, Eve? Your dad and I want what you want, Whitney, and we'll support you completely. Now go. Thanks, Mom. See you at the party. I love you, honey. I love you, too, Daddy. T.C., tell me something. What would happen if Whitney didn't make the tennis team? Oh, sweetheart, she'll make the but team. But what if she didn't make the tennis team? What would that do to her? And what would it do to you? Of course Whitney will make the Olympic team. It's always been her dream. But what if she doesn't? What if something happens? How is that going to affect the relationship between you and her? Not at all. I'll love her no matter what. You know that. Where's this coming from, Eve? I read about an Olympic gymnast who doesn't even speak to her father anymore. <sighs> that could never happen with Whitney and me. I mean, sweetheart, I think you're forgetting something here. Am I? Yeah. Do you remember when Whitney was about, let's say, yay high? She used to cry buckets when I would try to stop hitting balls with her. I do remember that. She would say, just one more volley, Daddy, please, just one more. I don't know how many dinners I reheated for you two. Got so late. I never pushed her, Eve. It's what she's always wanted. I just want to make sure that you and Whitney are always close. No matter what happens. You know, sweetheart, you worry about the craziest things. Grace? Grace! Oh, hi, Eve. I didn't hear you come in. You look great. You look like you were about a thousand miles away just now. Oh, this feeling just washed over me about my family. Sam and the girls? No, you know, the family I can't remember. And yet, I suddenly felt so close to them. I mean, is something wrong with me, Eve? Am I going crazy here? Of course not. <sighs> then why am I suddenly having all these feelings about having a family when the first 20 years of my life is a blank? Well, Grace, you spent a lot of time searching for the past 20 years. Maybe you're starting to remember. But I can't. I mean, so how can I have feelings about a family that I'm not even sure that I have? Because you want there to be people who knew you, who miss you. Yeah, I guess. I think I should just accept the fact, though, that I'm not going to remember the first 20 years of my life. Don't give up hope. <laughs> Thanks. No, I stopped by to ask you if you needed a lift to the party. I remember you said that Sam was going to be working late. Oh, yeah. Um, no, thanks. You know, I've got a lot to do here still. Thanks. Oh, you know, um, Miguel's got a new girlfriend, Charity. She's going to be...